To implement a abstract class in Kotlin is actually pretty easy. So let's say that you want to have a car class that extends this vehicle class. So we have class car and for whatever reason we can say we're also going to have a color which is going to be string. We're going to have number of wheels. It's an integer and number this needs to be val number of doors. And then what you can do is you're just going to go ahead and extend the vehicle class. And vehicle, of course, is going to need that color and number of wheels and number of doors because those are constructor parameters. However, notice we have a red squiggly here. And the reason why we have that is the car class is not an abstract and does not implement the abstract base class member drive. So what this is saying is, look, maybe you can do one of two things here. You can have an abstract class extend an abstract class so you could have this one here and you could maybe even call this a two door let's call this a two door core so we call this a two door car and i'm going to go ahead and break this into a new line here so it's easier to read and so instead of passing in the doors here i already know that this is going to be my two door sports car for whatever reason and now i have an abstract class here and this one i have a function here an abstract function and it's going to call drive fast. Now, of course, I don't know what drive fast means because in this two door car, it could be a Porsche, it could be a Lamborghini, it could be any number of cars. But I know that this two door car is going to drive fast and how it does that uh, depends on the implementation. Maybe it's an electric car. So uh, that's one way I could do it. I could also just go ahead and implement a car if I just know that I want a perhaps a simple town car or let's just call it a hatchback, even simpler. Hatchback car. Uh, so you know, it has a little hatch in the back, and then I can say color. Of course, is string number of wheels. Gonna could be any variable. Number of doors. It's gonna be who knows. Same thing here. I'm gonna put it in a new line. This one's gonna implement vehicle, and it's gonna be the color, number of wheels, number of doors, etc. Now again, I'm going to get this because I'm gonna get this error saying that we have not implemented the drive function. So what I can do is implement that member. And basically what we're telling here is, hey, Kotlin, I have now implemented the hatchback car. It is of type vehicle, and this one is going to drive a certain way. And so when the drive method is called, it will then call this implementation right here. Now I can have many different implementations uh, of this car. So I'm gonna actually copy this and paste it right above. And then I'm just gonna call this one perhaps a Call a town car. We'll call it a town car. And same thing, we have drive. So we have different implementations here. And this town car might do, you know, have something different where it has a very smooth ride. And this one is a very basic, smooth. And this one's very basic. It's very just hatchback car. So you're going to have many different implementations here. However, in order to implement an abstract class, you also have to implement the abstract functions here. So, which is interesting. Let's go with this two-door car. Let's create some space here and let's implement this two-door car. So we've already seen how we can do it once, but now we have an abstract class that extends an abstract class. What does that look like? And so let's, let's go ahead and implement something here. So class, we'll call this Lambo. And uh, of course we'll... Perhaps we just are gonna assume that every Lambo is gonna have, so it's gonna be extended vehicle. I'm not even gonna provide these things inside of the class Lambo because every Lambo that we're going to create is gonna be red and it's gonna have four wheels and it's gonna have two doors. There we go, simple enough. Now we have this little error here saying, hey look, uh, drive has not been uh, implemented and actually, we know it's gonna be a two-door car, so let's change this to two-door, and we can get rid of this right here. And now we have Lambo, it says, look, drive fast has not been implemented, so let's go ahead and implement drive fast. Okay, and look, we have two things here. Well, let's just go ahead and implement drive fast, because that's what it was complaining about. And we'll say, and perhaps whatever this is going to look like, 
is what it's going to look like. Depends on your implementation. Now we also have another error here saying, "Hey, the drive has not been implemented." And why is that? Well, because drive fast came. The drive fast method came from this abstract class, and the drive method comes from the vehicle. So because two door car extends vehicle, and our Lambo class extends two door, we're basically getting the entire object that we need to implement here. So as you can see, this can be beneficial, depends on how you are developing your, your classes. However, it can also be very difficult if you decide, let's say you have 20 implementations of vehicle and the subclasses or maybe there's 100 and you decide to add one abstract method to the top where people must implement it. Well, now you're gonna, it's gonna ripple throughout your code base uh, and you're gonna have to implement that in each of your child classes. So it's something to think about that you'll encounter from time to time. Sometimes that's necessary. Sometimes that's what you expect to happen. Maybe you need to implement some type of method like a safety check to ensure that all of the vehicles have meet a particular safety rating and you have to implement that in each class and that's what you need and that's okay. However, other times you're gonna realize, well, maybe I don't need that method to be abstract and that's gonna be on a case by case basis. Now. Over here, of course, we can go ahead and start implementing all of these. So if I want to say var or val lambo, then I can just say equals lambo. Now I got a lambo. And remember, I didn't have to provide any variables there. Well, why didn't I? Because I already knew, because I said, hey, all of our lambos are going to be red and have four wheels. And since this is a two door car, we already know it has two doors. I don't have to provide anything. I already have a lambo now. And so if we wanted to, you know, provide a method up here, we could say what kind they are. Another thing you can also do is let's go ahead and create a couple of these other cars here. Var two door equals, let's say town car, equals town car. Now, of course, what are we missing? We're missing the color, so it's called brown. It's gonna have four wheels and four doors. And now I have my two cars. And I, again, I could have multiple other ones inside of here. I've got my Lambo, I've got my town car, I've got my hatchback. I've got all these different types of cars. So one thing I could do here is create a hatchback too. So we have our hatchback car. This one's gonna be silver. It's gonna have four wheels and two doors. So at this point you might realize, well, some hatchbacks have four, some have two. So that's why we need the have the number of doors in a way that we can configure them. So this is how you can implement an abstract class. And you can also have an abstract class extend another abstract class and implement that. And then you can see how the abstract methods and members are required inside of each individual class itself. And you're required to implement them. So for example, our Lambo here extended from the V the two door car, which extended the vehicle car. So we had to implement the drive method. And we also had to implement the drive fast method in order to fulfill the requirements of the abstract class. And basically what the abstract method is saying is like, look, we don't know what drive does. Uh, but we know that every person or every class that implements this vehicle class has to provide an implementation of drive and the same thing down here. And we didn't have to implement it down here is because this is an abstract class. And that means like, hey, there's nobody who can create an instance of two-door car. But if you are going to use two-door car, uh, then we do know that you have a, a drive fast method for whatever reason. And whenever you implement that, you have to also implement whatever else vehicle is asking here. So if I were to throw another abstract method on here, so abstract fun stop. Now notice one thing. Lambo is going to give us an error. And if we scroll down also, so is town car and so is hatchback. Well, why is that? Well, simply because stop is implemented everywhere else. So I would have to go into town car, implement stop. I would have to go into hatchback, implement stop. Now here's an interesting thing. Maybe I know that all of my two door cars, the only way to stop them is to slam on the e-brake. And so what I can do is I can implement stop inside of my abstract class here. And I can say pull e-brake, which is the emergency brake. That's how we stop these two door cars, just as an example. So in this case, Lambo doesn't have to implement the stop method because that's just handled in the two door car level. So I've actually can override an abstract method inside of an abstract class of the parent abstract class. So again, this stop is actually from up here 
up here inside of this stop. So you can go here and you can right click on that and you can say navigate, excuse me, not navigate. You can go to command U on Mac. It'll take you to the implementation of where this is at. And I think it's control U for windows. So this abstract class has implemented one member, but it's still passing this member down further below. So we're still saying, Hey, drive needs to happen. And what we can also say is, you know, well, maybe anytime a two door car is driving, well, we also know that, um, we also know that we are going to, if we drive, we're just actually just going to drive fast. So anytime you drive, we, two door cars only drive fast. So notice one thing I can actually get rid of this down here because the Lambo now is using the drive method. If anyone calls drive, it's just going to call drive fast, which calls this drive fast method. So let's really see this in action. Let's go over here into our main file and inside of our drive fast, Let's go ahead and just do a print line. Driving fast. So if we have a two-door car, it's going to drive fast. And let's do a, another two-door car here. And let's create another one here called. Let's do another one. Let's just call this one. Uh, let's call this one Honda. And maybe we're saying, hey, I like this really fast Honda. Or let's just do Acura. And this one's going to be a two-door car. <laughs> two door car. It's going to be blue and it's going to have four wheels. There we go. However, we do need to implement this Acura drive fast method. So we're going to say print line, zoom, zoom. And what am I getting at with this? What we're going to see here is when we call the drive method here on a two door car, it's going to delegate to the drive fast. Now the drive fast has no implementation. We don't know what that does yet. However, that's going to delegate down into the actual implementation of the abstract class. So the two door car has a drive fast method. So anytime we call drive, it'll call drive fast, which then calls the drive fast method, which is implemented in the abstract class. So let's go here and let's go ahead and create, we'll have our Lambo, we'll move that down here. We can get rid of these two for now. And then we say val Acura equals Acura. And now what we can do is we can say something like this. We say Lambo dot drive and Acura dot drive. Now they're both going to drive. They both drive the same, whatever. They have the same abstract class. They have the same interface so I can work with them. They're both vehicles. Now we see down here, one is driving fast and one is going zoom zoom. Now an interesting thing that you can do here is you can start creating all different types of implementations. Now I can still call drive fast. That's not restricted. I can still say Acura that drive fast. And I can still do this and everything will still work and we'll still get the same results. So driving fast, driving fast, zoom zoom. Because remember drive, if we go to implementation, command B, takes us to the two door car, which is just going to delegate down to the drive fast. Now we had to implement the drive method. That drive method was from the original vehicle class. This is an accidental import. And so that's how you can create an implementation, an instance of uh, implement an abstract class and have it also extend other abstract classes as well.